Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends and colleagues, welcome to the refresher course uh, 1111, Brain Tumors, the Central Role of Radiology. Uh, before we start, I would kindly ask of you to silence your mobile devices and uh, please uh, note that uh, no video recording or photo session is allowed unless the authors have uh, authorized it. So, if I may start, it is my uh, pleasure to announce uh, the Brain Tumors, the Central of Radiology session. And having this privilege, I have to say that uh, apart from uh, historical questions uh, that are always facing the neuroradiologist uh, in a department, in every department, is to fulfill the clinical expectations from him. That means, or from her. That means that we are always there in order to provide the information for the clinicians, for the neurosurgeons and neuro-oncologists that are asking some serious questions. And one of the most important clinical question is always whether the tum tumor is present or not in the patient or uh, are we facing some other entity. That means tumor detection is historically looking one of the frequently asked questions from the clinicians. And uh, of course we would not be neuroradiologists unless we uh, enter deeper into morphoanatomy. And what we had before is, of course, the possibility to determine the tumor characteristics and to determine and describe all of the side effects of the tumor presence. That means not only tumor detection and precise localization, but also definition of diameters and margins, its relation to surrounding structures, uh, its uh, very important issue internal architecture and texture, and of course, to observe the perifocal edema, herniations, potentially uh, obstructions of a CSF pathways, vascular, vascular compromising, and dissemination of a tumor. I would like to stress this point, intertumorous structure, that means internal architecture and texture, because it leads us to another thing, and I hope that at this very moment I will not be very blasphemous, but at the moment when the radiologists, especially neuroradiologists, obtained the first tool of God, actually Godfrey Hounsville, and uh, this tool is uh, the possibility of tissue characterization in vivo uh, by definition of region of interest and obtaining uh, the, the value on a Hounsville scale, we actually started a new era. And this new era was followed by MRI techniques providing us with uh, lots of possibility by using different sequences uh, to characterize the tissue that we are dealing with. But everything went much more than that. And uh, where have we entered? We have entered into the era where actually we are capable of observing the biochemical metabolism of uh, tumorous tissue to observe the, the, the fibers surrounding the tissue, whether they are infiltrated or just pushed out or pushed away. Then, of course, uh, there is a possibility to perform diffusion, perfusion imaging, and uh, much more interesting to enter into the metabolic function of a tumorous tissue by introducing the hybrid imaging included in PET-CT and PET-MRI recently. So let me come back to the blasphemous issue. The radiologists are the only medical doctors who are actually in the possession of a divine tool of tissue characterization and defining the structure uh, without any sample like the pathologist and histopathologist do. So I would say that we are lying at this very moment uh, at three postulates. This is the covenant, and uh, you should read it, the capability of technology. Then the sword, which is our tool, and which is actually the presence and possibility of obtaining multiparametric maps that would enter into another field of uh, scrutinizing the tumorous tissue and, of course, the arm of uh, the neuroradiologist. Without the neuroradiologist and uh, the knowledge of neuroradiologist, it is very difficult to 
uh, have any other information apart from nice pictures. Now, at this very moment, I would like to quote a uh, very dear friend uh, and uh, excellent expert, Professor Patei, who said once tissue is the issue, and since the tissue is the issue, our task in the future is to analyze and to interpret all of the multiparametric maps that we are capable of obtaining, and uh, whether they are CT-based, MRI-based, or PET-CT or PET-MRI-based, they are rather, rather important, and they provide a very accurate information before any treatment uh, is about to be planned. Therefore, I would like to thank you for this brief introduction and to uh, inform you that in this session you will have the possibility to hear three excellent experts and speakers, Professor Rolf Jäger from uh, UK uh, on the topic of differential diagnosis and pseudotumoral lesions, Professor Yelda Özdunar from Turkey, grading and prognosis, role of perfusion imaging, and Professor Pia Mali Sundgren, monitoring treatment, real or pseudo progression. I would like to announce at this very moment Professor Jaeger with his topic, Differential Diagnosis and Pseudotumor Lesions. Before he starts, don't forget to fulfill your CME papers. Thank you very much.